to call off a grand final to cast, I'd rather go with casting a grand finals. That will be a bit shorter and also as the rules currently say, of course, for future cups, we'll try to change that again to a best of five but with all the delays, extra delays we've had uh, is a thing that we'll have to change at least for now. For now though, we are on our way. We say BFN immediately going with a push with the Bahamut. Both of these teams we haven't seen yet. We see BFN push on quick, but Duke immediately is there to get the kill onto him. Pedaways and Bimbo. Bimbo is now moving in. He hasn't been spotted yet. Oh, Pedaways spots Duke, gets the kill onto him. But look at Bimbo. He's moved in. Is he going to check Pedaways though? He's going to walk straight in and Pedaways gets his second kill of the round. Great work by him. That opens up the mid. Zephyro and Pablito is still there. Zephyro immediately with the kill onto Taz. Great work. He's all the way up. Gets a second too. And now Mark and Mart are the only two remaining. Zephyro has decided to drop down. This should be the call for them to at least go over to one side. Only one person defending and that is one snipe. We're trying to move around towards the base. This is a good idea. He's going to run into Pablito in a moment's notice if he chooses the right way to watch. It's going to be very close. Pablito is already close, but Mart is now looking at it. Will get the kill onto him. And now they have to decide. Zed for all or the other one? He spotted Zed for all. Mark is already in. Will he spot one snipe though? He does spot one snipe, gets the kill onto him, and Mart's gone Zed for all. So first round still going to United after the first few, uh, the first pick at least, went to Bangbus. Yeah, Bimbo was in a key position to get the kill onto Peta. That didn't happen, a bit of unfortunate timing. That's how much of an impact that can have. Nate this time from Duke not connecting. Man, we've seen make aces so far in both of the tournaments we spectated him. Of course, Bangbus was not present in the second tournament, was present in the first and third. And now in the fourth one as well. The other tournaments, both grand final places, grand final win and grand final loss. And tonight they're looking to get to the grand final for the third time. The United spin the grand final twice as well. One or two times though. Pavlito gets the first onto Mark. And they're looking to continue that streak. One snipe with the AK-12. Actually the only player using that gun, even though it's quite a solid gun. Definitely good if you know how to use it. It's going with wall bangs as well, which is why it's a good pick to bring, just like the KCR is. Now he's trying to move a little bit to the side. Except for all trying to shoot through the smoke quite a bit. He did hit one of the players there as he gets put on UAV. Hit Taz just a tight bit. Peta is now hit in the smoke and Pablito gets the kill through the smoke onto Peta. Second kill for him this round. Duke's under pressure. 3v5 situation is going to be a tough one to go into. Taz here some shooting. Zed for all is behind the drop. Taz just misses the shot there. Needs to get the binder one. It's a good binder one. Wants to get the quick shot. Spots it. Can't get the kill, but Blito with the third one of the round. Mark now on his own. 1v5 situation for him. Is he going to get pushed out? Dukes trying to be a little bit aggressive. Bimbo is in the mid. What is Mart now going to be doing? He's got 30 seconds to work with. Bimbo's already close. Spotted Bimbo, misses the shot. Now he's going to move out. Zephyro misses the shot as well. Has to repeat, but misses a third too. No kills for Mart. It's a round of the board for Bangbus. They get one up. This is the match that most people were looking out for. Most people were looking forward to. And it isn't even the grand final, it's just a semi-final, even though it's one hell of a semi-final. Although the matches we've seen so far on stream is that Fro gets BFN for both games that went to a third map. It's definitely something that we can see as well here tonight. Taz trying to have a little bit of a look there, doesn't spot anyone. Taz just did not see Bimbo. Spots him now, misses the shot. Bimbo will be moving away, wise decision. Mark gets headshot and he's very low HP now. Let's also decide to move back a little bit. Will they go to two after all? 
It is that for all actually with the kill over the top of the side onto Mart. Once again, 3v5 situation. Last time this didn't go so well. And Bimbo is tucked up in a corner with that carbine. He's going to get pre-fired out or will he prevail? Needs to get at least two here. Gets Mart. Tries to go for a second, but it's Petaways that cleans up. Taz also with a frag. Z for all. No, it's Duke actually with a kill. And now Petaways. 1v3 situation. Z for all plays close. Duke is also there. Z for all. No, Duke is going to be there. Gets a second onto Duke. And now it's just one snipe. Petaways on for 1v3. They will meet up now. Just doesn't get the kill. One snipe survives. A very good attempt by Petaways, but just not enough. And it will be third round towards Bangbus. They're now five rounds away from a spot in the Grand Finals. Oh, good name. The Effendi, second time now he's been the first one down. And second time he hasn't been able to do anything with that. Zep for all, trading out. Do they know that Bimbo's still there? They do know now. Petaways knows he needs to get the kill onto Bimbo, but Bimbo does still get the shot. Now it's just the scopes remaining. Mart and Taz need to make it work. 2v4 situation. It's coming out, but they don't connect. We have tough one there, but look at that. Zephyro currently 8 in 3. Big effort by him. Mart's trying to look around. He does have that battle reel with him. Curious to see if he's going to use it at all. Duke is waiting here though. Oh, Duke missing that shot. Mart now knows where one guy is. I think Mart will try to go inside. If he looks to right angle and get, get the kill onto one snipe, that one side is all open, all for the taking. So this is the big move of the round. If he can get this kill, United is still in it. Duke has moved in in the meantime though. Mart has spotted it, but missed his shot again. Means once again needs to try something different. Now put on vinyls. Almost gets wall banged there. Taz is holding an angle. Gets the kill onto one snipe. Duke was still holding the angle. I don't think he knows that Duke is in. Duke does know that Taz is there. Taz gets Pablito. But Duke's still there. This is a very dangerous angle here because Taz is not going to predict that. Duke does get him. Now it's Mart on his own. He's looking for Bimbo, who's not peeking just yet. Needs to complete the 1v2. Last round, it was Petaways getting very close to a 1v3. Mart now has got 25 seconds to work with. He will predict Duke here. Gets the kill onto Duke. It's just Bimbo left. Does he know that Bimbo will be on his right? I think he will be watching that. I think he will be watching it. Gets the kill just before he dies. And it's Mart with a 1v2 clutch. That is a round that United desperately needed after losing a clutch earlier on. Great effort by Mart. That's exactly what you needed there. But this is where ping comes into play as well. I'm pretty sure if this was equal uh, equal pings, or if this was in a land setting, I'm pretty sure Mart would have died there. But with the delay that you have there, 150 ping, that also doesn't help you out there, and that allows, at least I think, it allows Mart to get that uh, round. One snipe again playing in a trusty position. Got a 3k from that last cup. And to play with under a tank, it's very hard to spot a player from here too. By the way, he's coming out with a nade. Nobody's there where that nade is going to land. Try to roll back a bit. No, there's nobody on the right side. They are going to move in. Hard push, they spot one. Duke does get the kill still. Over to Duke. Mark gets Pablito. Duke misses his second shot. The Effendi's pushing on. Gets one snipe. Duke though, three kills for him so far. But he needs to complete the ace once again. A great hold by Duke. But he is alone in the side. I think Mark knows. So Duke needs to rotate. Will he predict that Mark is holding an off angle on the left side? He does watch it. But Mark's got the superior angle on him. 3-2 lead for United. And they're doing great, great work here on EU.
Duke actually only has one scope with him. Not entirely sure why that is the case. Khan utilizes scope to go for wall banks with. Papalino does have the good choice of bringing an FG, so he has a wall banging weapon. For appointment, of course, it does not apply. Bimbo has the KCR for that. Mark's got both guns that can wall bang. One snipe's got the K12. Petaway's also both guns can wall bang. The M14 can also do the same. There are KCR that can do it. Taz also no guns that can really wall bang. And Mart, I believe the Troy Battle Rail can wall bang that first wall. So interesting setups there as Duke's holding an angle. Pablito's pushed up quite far in the mid, playing behind the box. But the main push once again will be happening over at one side. Bay Fendi's already in. And again, the first one to fall, having a rough game so far as Duke's moving around. But I don't think he realizes all the players are already in, but one stop and four kills! Oh my words, we were not expecting that. But he holds the side on lockdown. That's sick. That is a sick round by one snipe. And that pushes the teams to 3 all. Ornate's coming out. Nobody really being there though. Not Ornate here being thrown. We're going to connect again. Bart is pushed up quite far. It has to fall back. His bimbo's there. To have a look around, nobody really being there though. As it looks like both the United and Bangmas are taking it slow. Nate now comes in. Zephyro pushes out. He will get caught off guard, but he doesn't. Duke in the meantime is moving over to one. The Effendi in particular having a very tough game so far. He's trying to be aggressive, but aggression's not paying off. That's something that we've seen against Bang Bus in previous cups as well. It's very hard to utilize this. Oh, I didn't even see Taz. It's a great shot by Duke. If anything, starting to move a little bit there. As Mark gets set for all, good kill by him. But Bang Bus and Petaway is about to meet up. Petaway's just up. Well, Bimbo's just up there. Won't spot him though. Any push will be happening here. Mark gets Bimbo. Spot a one, Bay Fendi's trying to move around, he's got the shotgun now. Can't call wall bang, can it? Duke's moved to the side. Nate came in. Oh, what a shot. Mark's got one snipe. He must have seen Duke. He has, Duke's down. Pablito on his own. And it's Paya Fendi, second kill with the shotgun. It's starting to look like he's found his footing into this game now too. 4-3 lead for United. They're three rounds away from pushing this to a third and final map. That will mean that the grand finals will definitely be starting after 11. Unless Bangmas, of course, has something to say about that still. Petaways with a nade onto Pablito. That is going to stop their push. But that should also be a call for United. The guys are quite close, but look where... That for all is that. A very good aggressive angle, higher up. That's one kill with that. Bimble King with the return onto Petaways though. And that makes it 3 all again. Marcus playing close angle. Duke is going to walk up there. Will he be able to get the kill onto Mark? It's going to be a tough kill, but if he can do it, it will be huge. He does get the kill. Not even a shot fired. One side is free for the taking. Mark, uh, or Taz and Bayfendi self to rotate. Nades are coming through. Taz now knows he needs to rotate quick. Bay Fendi's gonna go around. Still has a shotgun with him. Duke has moved in. Taz is gonna come via spawn. They're all playing in the back. Taz, Taz still has a nade. Duke's gone Bay Fendi. Taz immediately going to rush through the smoke. Gets the shot onto Duke. That's so aggressive. Gets one slap too, but Bimbo stays alive. I don't think anyone was expecting such a rad push. And it almost worked out for Taz. It's just one man that was left standing for all now. A sick attempt. He seems really showing though that catching each other off guard can be so huge. Mark is now going with a nade. These nades are not going to connect just like the previous round we saw this.
So far, not much more happening in this round. Bang was taking it very slowly. They know that after this map, if there is another map, there will have to be a coin toss. It's coming out. What's happening? Good day, that goes right about the spot where Mark is at, and one snipe is going to wall bang. This is a good decision by one snipe. He's now going to shoot. Doesn't connect with BFN, who gets the kill onto Duke. BFN, he's pushed out, gets two kills for his effort before Pablito shuts him down with a space invader. But great, great work by the Fendi there. So now Petaways has been spotted. I also been shot down by Bimbo. Mark is still in the warehouse. Except for, I don't think he saw that nade, but did get away just in time. That should give him a little bit of info. Pablito is already in, but I don't know that Mark is still there. Pablito is going to go for a push. Mark's gone one. Now he's shot down for his efforts. We have Taz. Now Taz doesn't have a nade. Mark still does. Pablito doesn't dare to get the bomb down just yet. He's gonna do that now. Two scopes retaking against a rifle and a pointman. Mark is going to throw the nades first. That goes to the side. Nobody is there. Taz is still waiting though. Taz DC. I think Taz DC. There's no way he's not moving in. Oh, now he's moving. He spotted Pablito. 14 seconds, time is so slim. Pablito gets one, Taz is already out. There's no time for him. He does get a kill onto Pablito, but there's no time for Taz to make that work. Won't get the kills either. And it is Bangbus taking the lead. They're now only two rounds away from victory here, and they're showing, even on the EU side, that they can take rounds here. EU United starting to feel the pressure now. They must feel the pressure. Because out of the next five rounds, they need to win four. Uh, the next uh, five rounds, they need to win three, sorry. So preferably, well, within four, sorry. Within four rounds, they need to win three. Mark's now moved up to a different angle. We've seen Duke play here before. But need, United needs to try something different. Now moving around, one snipe is up. Smoke's now in mid. Pabrillo's got damaged a little bit. Mark's still hanging around here behind red container. Still trying to have a look here. At some point, Bangbus will have to go to mid, and then Mark is going to be the happy third. So he's going to get some kills then. It's only Duke there currently. Now Duke's starting to move up a little bit. Bimbo starting to shoot a bit. That gives Mart some information. Now Duke will know that Mart is there. Can Duke get the pre fire? I think they're going to be waiting for Bimbo. No. Bimbo's not quick enough. Ah, uh, Mart looks the wrong way. So he does get traded out for his efforts. Does at least shut down the scope. And that is the scope that's been top fragging. 12 and 8 that Duke is at. The most kills out of anyone in the game so far. Pablito is also quite low. That's their poison. He has a C4 carrier. I think they're going to be going over to two. They've got a little over 45 seconds to work with. As one snipe now gets killed by Mark. Yeah, that should be the call to go over to two side. But that side is quite on lockdown. Although Taz might get spotted now by Z4O. Nope. Oh. Damage done, actually. Taz was watching it. But Bimbo's over. No, no, they're going to go to one. Bimbo has snuck in. Mark is holding an off angle here. Will Bimbo check that though? He does check it. It's a little bit of damage onto him, but Taz already holding the angle close. I have to make sure nobody can set that bomb. And Taz can't go for it. Be Fendi though, he can! Oh, he missed his shot! Be Fendi misses his shot, now it's a 5v3. Taz now moving in, Zephro on the stairs. But Taz does get the kill. 2v2 situation, Pavlito is still lit. This is a must win round. Petaways with the wall bang! And now Bimbo King's alone. Petaways slowly trying to move in. They need to pincer movement this. They don't know where Bimbo King is at. Petaways is in. Bimbo must push, he gets one. He is out, he's got time on his side. He doesn't want to move away, he moves away too late. And Padaways 
still is going to get that clutch. If Bibo had gone down the stairs just a little bit sooner, he would have won this. There would have been no way for Petaways to kill him in time. And that allows United to go back into it. We're now 5 all, folks. Two or three rounds that we will definitely see. The team that's going to win two, that will decide if that, who wins the map. And yeah, if that is a United, we're going to a third and final map. And that will be on Aslan. If not, we're going to see a 2-0 victory for Bangbus, and they move on to the Grand Finals. That was a dicey round. I really thought Zephyrl was going to get the kill onto Taz, but that did not happen. And then Bimbo had it in the palm of his hands, but couldn't utilize it. Couldn't shut it down. Look at that. Mart is also playing on the back of that tank. Two scopes there, almost right next to each other. Let's see how powerful of a setup that really is. But you know, it's playing very careful. I think that's that's something nice to see. It's something you don't see that often. Bank was also playing careful. They don't want to push it too far. But I think that's also because they know we can do this. We've beat them here before. If we play it carefully, we don't do anything crazy. We can win this here tonight. That's something that they are going to be so, so happy about. Bay Fendi is playing close with the shotgun though. Duke gets the kill onto Mark. His first blood drawn. That nade is good. Bay Fendi moves over as a result. Gets hit through the wall there as well. Four nades coming through. Bay Fendi really needs to watch out here. More smokes coming through. Bay Fendi waiting. Ah, oh, he pushes way too far and falls again. The aggression by BFN really isn't working out for United. We've seen it a few times now, and also this round, but this is quite crucial. They're now going to rotate. Mark needs to hold him off. Mark needs to get at least two kills here, preferably even more. Look at that, one snipe coming on via the street. Taz is going to watch that first, though. Does he know one snipe is playing close? Misses the shot on him. Mark has gone one from inside. Has dropped down, gets the kill onto Duke as well. Mark showing his worth. He spotted Zet for all. Misses a shot though. Oh, server lag. Big server lag. Taz with the backup. One snipe still alive, but the bomb's going down at two. The bomb's going down at two. I don't think Taz knows. Taz must have heard this. He has heard it now. This is such a tough clutch for Taz. Pablito's on side. One snipe is playing close. There's almost no time for Taz here. He needs to go for it. He needs to go for it. There is no time. He does spot one now. But he won't have time for it. Does get one. But it is bang buzz on match point. One round away from victory. But that lag, that server lag might have decided something. Because that did not allow Mart to get another kill there. But a good bomb carry by Pablito though, moving over to two sides. And that made it tough. Mate's coming out, no damage been dealt yet. The next two rounds need to go to United to keep them alive. Remember, they have not lost the series yet this weekend. But losing the series could mean they are out of the tournament. Captado on the other hand, they are in the Grand Finals. Uh, they have already lost two. They've already lost two series. That is, of course, because of the Swiss format we had yesterday. There we are. Yeah, PWZ, we should say. They're called PWZ Cotado. They prefer to be called PWZ. Let's move over to do. Let's try to have a look there. Bayfendi has been hit a little bit. They're going to nade the spot where Mark has been playing before. Taz gets the kill across, and immediately Duke knows where to look for. It's a good entry by Taz. I think they want to move in. I think they know they've got to go. They're gonna go for it now. Duke is the first one to look. Mark gets set for all. Mark is still holding close. The Fendi's also helping him out. Bimbo King gets one. That's one on one snipe. Trades are being made. 2v3 situation. But Duke still needs to get the bomb now. I think Taz... Well, Taz does have a nade. Can he see Duke? I don't think he can. Trying to go around, trying to split up a little bit. This is a must win round for E-United, otherwise they will be out. Flash is coming through. 
Trying to have a look there. Haven't spotted anyone just yet. Bimble is down with a nade. Duke still alive, but Petaways with a kill. We are going to a 13th and final round. The first round, the first match on Fox Hunting was a 7-6 victory for Bangbus. We are once again at a 6 all score. We're going to see a 7-6 score again. But will it be Bangbus or will it be United? The last time we've seen these two teams fight it out in the close game here on this map. It was a 7-6 victory after a close 1v1 fight for Bangbus. If they replicate that, then they are moving on to the grand finals here tonight. See Zephyrol throw an 8. But I don't think that is going to connect. Bay of Fendi being very aggressive in the mid. That might pay off this time. Bimbo King is close. Bimbo King is close. Gets a kill. That's bomb. Bay of Fendi knows. He's got the bomb. And Pablito's rolling around. Zephyrol now coming out. What a kill by Zephyrol. Bay of Fendi had in the palm of his hands there. But a great pre-fire by Zephyrol. Keeps Bangbus in the round still. Still possible here. Taz having an elevated position. We haven't seen him play here earlier on. Seeing the teams take it very slowly, but one snipe and Taz are about to meet up. I don't think one snipe is going to jump down here. You will not expect Taz being posted up. Or is it Pablito who's going to fall for this? One person is going to walk into this. They throw a smoke. They can't see Taz, and he gets one. Going to use his binos, at least try to. Now use the elevate position, gets the kill onto Duke, and that is massive work by Taz. It's starting to look more and more like a third and final map. Pablito, Zephyrol, they have to do it. Mart holding an off angle. Pablito and Zephyrol are going to move up together here. Mart gets one. That could be everything. That could be everything. They're moving in now. They get him. They do a lot of damage. They get the kill. It's not over just yet. Taz and Mark needs to hold them back. They need to hold them back. Smokes are out. Free fire is coming through. They're rotating. They're rotating over to two side. Petaways has fallen for it. Petaways has fallen for it. Not fully. He spots Pablito. He now knows it's going to be two. Pablito needs to get the skill here. Zephyro gets a kill instead. It's a 2v2. It's not over yet, but the nade's gonna come out. The nade! Did it, did it work? No, the nade misses! Taz is in a 1v2! Is this Bangbus taking it? Oh, it's a 1v1 again. It's Zephyro versus Taz. Taz is going to drop the smoke. He spots him. He spots Zephyro. This is all so close. Can Taz do it? Can Taz do it? Here it gets the kill! And E United prevails! We're going to see another 1v1 fight. This time it's E United taking it. And we have a third map on the cards. What a close matchup we see here. But I really thought Pavlita was going to get the kill on Taz. I really thought he was going to get it. But he didn't. He couldn't get the kill onto Taz, and that means we have a third map. We are now going to get ready for Aslan. But we first need to decide what server we have to play on. So we're going to see a coin flip. Means we have a little bit of time to breathe, to relax, listen to a bit of music, and we're going to do the coin toss.
everything she was such a blessing but from day to day she would change her ways give me her love and she'd take it away Alright, we're going to wait now a little bit until E United makes a call. We're going to do heads or tails. One call only, so no best of threes or anything. E United will make a call either heads or tails. It just shows heads here as default. We're going to press flip the coin in a moment as soon as Mark calls. And if e United gets it right, they get the server pick. If they get it wrong, then the server pick goes to Bangbus. We decided to do this on stream to make sure that it is the fairest uh, possible. And then we know how we're going to do that for map 3, which is on Aslan. So just waiting for Mart now to post that in the chat, and then we'll know how that is going to end. Currently, almost 11 p.m. here. No sign of the Grand Final starting just yet. But yeah, as we said, that is going to be a best of three series, because otherwise this is going to be going on for much too long tonight. And Mark chooses heads. We're now going to flip the coin. And let's see who's got it, who gets it right. It is heads indeed. So it will be E United that gets a server pick. So with that decided, so we're going to stay here on this server. We're going to wait for us to be invited. And then we're going to get ready for the third matchup here tonight. We're going to go to Aslan. You see an Aslan room being created, but that is something else. Same as here. So just wait for the team to start that. Just waiting for that map to be created, and then we can get this on the road. All right, we've been invited in. All right, looks like everyone is back in as we can see. We're going to see a third and final map, as I mentioned before, on Aslan. 
So I have to wait for Taz to change that to Aslan and then we can get this semi-finals, this second semi-final matchup concluded. The map now has been changed. Alright, so it sounds like Bagbus will get the server pick, or the, not the server pick, the side pick. The main game will be played on the European server, as one probably predicted. And they want to start on NRF, so Taz will switch us around, and then we'll get this show on the road once more. Remember, this is the map that decides it all. The team that wins it goes to the grand finals. Waiting for them to ready out. We're still going to see a double scope set up by United as we always see in the cups. As on the other side, single scope set up and with Pablito one snipe Z for own Bimbo King, a lot of rifling firing power as well. In the meantime, in the chat, guys, let us know who you think is going to win this third and final map here on Aslan. If that is going to be E United or if that will be the Bang Bus. We're all ready. Now we're going to get started. Map three, the second semi-final matchup. It's a United on EU with Mark BFN, Petaways, Mark and Taz, and then a Bimbo King Z for all one snap KO, Pablito and Duke. See if we see any changes. Pablito's got Desmodus with him. An XM8 for one snipe. That's the only thing that has changed really. So with that information on board, let's go over to Mart as he is going to be the first one trying to look around for other people. He's going to make sure there's nobody playing behind that box. Actually, I've seen very few people play behind that box. They go over there. Normally a lot of people would play behind this box right over here. But yeah, there is an 8 spot for it. But we've seen so many people not up for it. You can also play close here as a pointman. Which we haven't seen a lot of people do. But the push now happening over at one side. Nimble King, Zephyro and Duke are being there. As there's a lot of kills being made by Bangbus. And it's now a 4v2 situation. Mark has spotted Zephyro. Needs to get the kill. Can't get it done. And now Mart, 1v4 situation for him, sees a flash come through, he is already lit. I think Duke is going to beat this. That nade is actually quite good. Is Duke going to peek it? One snipe might peek it a little bit sooner and he's going to get the kill as well. First round going to Bagbus. Good start for them. It's 
watch Bimbo King as he's keeping control of upper one side. Tipe Effendi has split up from the gang a little bit. It's now moving over towards one side. Once again, going for the push with the same guys. We're trying to have a look. He's going to throw that nade down there now. Nobody just there. Actually, there was Bay Effendi been hit heavily with that grenade. He spotted at least the guy there. Smoke's coming in. Go missing a shot there. I believe that was Mark. Must have been because Taz is still further away. Smoke's coming through. Petaway's being hit severely. Another flash coming through. Look at that. Pablito is stabbing. One snipe's got mid control. Let me go to, to Pablito real quick because if this push takes too long, he's going to get a 4k. Pablito is on for a massive kill streak here, but he's waiting. He's waiting instead. It's Mark who gets the opening kill. Gets traded out. Here comes Pablito though. Is Mark going to check this? He will not. Pablito gets one. Petaways hasn't looked behind just yet. That's two kills for him. Bayefendi is still inside, but he's alone. Bayefendi is alone. One snipe's trying to move in. And Duke is going to push up instead. Great push from behind by Pablito. Duke's still surviving there. And even though he and I got very close to the side, it was not enough to take it. Total lead now for Bangbus. They've started off well, and now we're going to see a heavy two push. Can Pablito and one snipe hold off? They're jumping up, they spotted one, so they're now going to throw an aid and fall back. They have spotted that. More smoke's coming through. Duke's being hit in the mid, that must have been by Nate. One snipe being hit a little bit as well by the pointer. The offender coming through immediately to double headshot as Mark. Wait, he got the. Was that a jumping kill? Did he just get a jumping kill? Duke gets one back onto Petaway, so 3v2. Oh, I was not a jumping kill, so I guess we saw something wrong. Bimbo King has stabbed him from behind, and now Taz is alone. 1v3. And Bangbus is doing great, great work. They've got bomb control. This is so hard for Taz to push back into. But it is almost a round that they need already. It's going to move along now. A lot of smokes out there. And Taz has so much to clear and a bomb to take. Has got a little bit of time on his side. Yeah, Zephyro will be jumping here. Does a little bit of damage already. That's a kill to Zephyro. Going to push on. Will he expect to get the kill to do? Oh, so close! But it's Bimbo King who prevails. 3 0 lead for Bangbus. But that got close. That got dicey. Almost has again doing the work. But not this time. Set for all, of course, being Jin Zhao. Refer to him as Jin Zhao to make it a bit easier. The Fendi now is going to push through. He's been very aggressive. It's paid off sometimes. Most of the times, so though, it hasn't. Bimbo King is now playing behind that box we were talking about before. Duke's still holding in mid. I'm going to spot that. That smoke is quite good. And Taz is going to see him just before. Pablito gets a lot of damage onto him as well. He needs to retreat. But a good entry by Taz. And they've been thrown onto him though. Come on, dear, oh, it here. says team kill by Pablito onto one snipe. So he trades out Bay Fen, even though he shouldn't have. And Pablito is low. And Zhao is going to give back up. He gets a kill onto Petaways. Taz still there. Mark is going to pincer him in too. Taz got one. Bimbo's trying to help out. Mark plays close. He gets one. Bimbo still alive. Has a shotgun out. But Mark with the instant headshot on Bimbo. And he's finally going to put one on the board for E United. I still a long, long road to go. And really for E United, it's now Taz. Try and pu push this to three all and make their lives a little bit easier. But looks like Jin Zhao will have something to say about that. Immediately goes out with a push, gets the offending. And even though he's been doing a little bit better this game, still having a rough one. Hasn't really done much damage into Jin Zhao either. It's about 15 HP worth of damage. That name not really getting any close either. It's now Mart is going to clear his corners. Taz is still with the C4 over at one side. Yeah, with Duke being posted up far and Bimbo close. If Taz does push up here, he's going to get traded out and it will be bombed down. 
Mark will likely need to help out, but then they also need to take... Well, there's actually nobody watching Connector 2, so they could walk up towards Bimbo. Although, if Taz is going to throw the nade, then Bimbo will be forced out, and then Mark will likely see him, or Petaways. So a lot of things that can happen here is Duke has decided to jump down. It's going to make Taz's life just a little bit easier. So I think Mark wants to make a move now. Mark is going to make a move together with Mark. They've called, one snipe is called on site. Mark now here. Good nade. That nade call out works too, perfectly. But Mark is going to push. One snipe playing close. Gets killed. Zephyro pushes. That's Jin Zhao down. But Taz is still over at one side. Can't get a 3k. But Taz needs to rotate. Taz is still going for it. If he can't get Bimbo, it's bombed down. I think Taz knows now. Taz knows he needs to retreat. Is this too risky for him? Mark gets one onto Pablito. Taz needs to run now. Gets pet away, still not over yet. Marwa's going to give back up over to Taz, and Nade's going to be coming through. Is that going to catch Taz off guard? Not just yet. Doesn't spot anyone. Mart is pushed out, but Bimbo King is close. Oh, Mart gets that one kill. Bimbo pushes in, he's low HP, he gets one! Mart with the pistol is still going to get that. But with time being very slim, he's still United that gets another one. Three to two now. If any once again being aggressive with the bar mode this time around. Mark is going to give him a little bit of backup. And Mark is also pushing up far. And let's go over to Mark. He's already clearing the garden area. Might meet up with Jin Zhao in a moment. Jin Zhao is watching that. Mark missing a shot. Nobody doing any damage. Bimbo King is trying to push up though. Look at Bimbo. Can he get kills there? He can get both of the scopes. Oh, he misses the first shot onto Taz, but he's got the bomb down. Nate comes out. They know where Mart is at. Mart has decided to push on. He gets Duke. But Bimbo's got bomb. I think he knows. He's throwing a lot of smokes. He's decided to stay here. Mart is still there. Mark has gone one too. Oh, a pixel spot by Mart. Jin Zhao fighting back. 2v2 now. But they need to get the bomb. Bimbo King is going to play close. They've got him now, but Bimbo's still alive. Already got one. If he can make a 3k here this round, he's going to put Bang Bus at a significant lead. Mark is low. And Petaways is still full HP. They know they need to get the bomb, but how are they going to do it? How are they going to do this? Looks like Petaways wants to take it head on. Mark is not going to give him backup just yet. They're both going to go via... Probably is the easiest way to approach it. Because Bimbo King can play close angles. If you go via the tunnel, you've got the most time to work with. At least the most long ranges to work with. So this is a very good call. But does Bimbo not know if he's got the bomb? He's completely given it up. What the hell? So it's United that predicts that they know Bimbo's got the bomb. And Bimbo's just given it. Bimbo's just given it to them. He can now... Oh, this is so good. This could be the round win for Bimbo. He gets Mark. But Mark was already low. 10 seconds. And he gets the kill too onto Petaways. Too long of a wait it was. And with that 1v2 clutch by Bimbo King, it moves Bangba so much closer to victory here. Three rounds away from taking it. But that was a must-win round. By Bangbus. I also E United, really, so great, great effort. Good clutch. Well played. Now then, on EU, how well can they do? Jin Zhao's got the elevated spot. That's a really good jump. Look where he is now. If you do the jump, if you execute it to perfection, you can get on there. It's appointments much easier as a rifle still possible. How are they going to play? Two people are someone in mid, 
Although Mark has backup in the back. The Effendi can still get backup too. Mark just pushed up very far. And Petaway is in the garden playing long range. Mark now jumps up. Sees the smoke being thrown. But the angle that Mart is holding that smoke is not good enough. Although one snipe is not pushing it either. Mimo King trying to make some noise. The Effendi's giving back up to Mart now. Mart is trying to bait someone out, but that's not working just yet. Move over to Bimbo. He hasn't seen Mark here behind the box. He's holding it close. Uh, you would predict that he's going to check that. The nade was not good enough, but it's still Bimbo King with the kill. They push on. Now got mid control. They are on vinyl, so they can't really move. They are going to go to two after all. The Fendi's still here. Taz has gotten Jin Zhao. They probably want to push now, but if they're going to push over to two, that is where it's heavily defended. The Fendi's close with a shotgun. Mark gets the bomb carrier. Bimbo King is now going to move in from the connector. Do they realize? Do they realize that mid was open? I don't think they do. Mark does check it now. Wise decision. Gets a kill onto Bimbo. Duke is also still there. Oh, Duke misses! They misses. They miss twice, three times even. Mark gets the kill. And that's four kills for Mart. What a round by him. 12 in 5 he is. <laughs> Drake's 9 for the effort as well, but Duke missed three shots there. So that is a bit on Duke as well. And it does at least make life for United a little bit easier as they now come back 4 to 3. Scopes again starting to prevail. So once again, they want to move over to two. This time, Pablito's going to meet up with Petaways. He's seen Petaways. He's still going to stay there. Petaways with the kill. Bimbo King fighting back though against Mark. Duke gets Petaways too. So now, one side's open. Through the smoke, Bimbo King gets Taz. Now it's a 4v2. Mark. And Bay Fendi need to go for it. Mart is going to nade the side. That might go very deep because there's two people there. He hits both of them on the side. And Zed Feroz lit. One snap gets Mart to the smoke. No, from mid, from mid. It's just Bay Fendi. Bay Fendi in a 1v4. Ooh, this is so tough. Xin Jin Zhao, that's one. And Bimbo King. Again, him. Three kills this round. And look at that, 14 and a half in 5, completely carrying his team there. Almost three times as much damage as the man in second. But so far, that is what Bangbus needs. But yeah, that extra round that they had so far seems to be helping them out much, as now Mark has an aggressive angle. Duke is ready for it! And that's going to make lives, once again, more tough for United. They've been with the backs against their walls before. Last time they prevailed. But can they do it again? They will need to win this round, though, in order to prevent uh, Bangbus from getting onto four match points. That is now trying to move in. Bay Fendi's playing close with the boxes. Dukes go into the garden. As Mark is watching from up. Clever position from him. It looks like Bangbus wants to go over to two side where Taz is waiting. Taz is playing at an off angle, but could get shot down by the second player here. And Petaways needs to go with a quick rotate. Smoke comes out. Taz is going to bind away. That's a good call. It's going to allow them to hold off a little bit. Bay Fendi kills Bay, uh, Bimbo King. That's a big kill as well. Duke, though, does get into the side. Now what do they do? Pablito is in mid. They know where Petaway is. Well, they know that one of the players is at two. They know where Bayefendi is at. Perhaps don't know where Taz is. Bayefendi again. Kill onto Duke. This is the push. This is the push. Onto two side. Petaway is on his own. Gets one. Just can't get the second onto Pablito. But Pablito is lit. Zephyro is tagged. The nade wasn't accurate enough. Taz got a flash. Pablito's got nade. Bayefendi's got nothing to fight with. If any, he's just going to run through it, he gets one on Zephyro, oh, and it's Taz with the pistol on Pablito. Once again, the rounds go down to the wire, and it will be Taz prevailing in the end. 4v5 now. It's anyone's guess at this point. 
Operation success. Turn to main base. Your efforts are commended. Now spectate Duke a little bit. 10 and 6, second frag for his team. We got the opening frag last round. The Effendi has found a sweet position to play at. And I do wonder when they're going to clear it because if they clear it with a quick nade, the Effendi will fall. He's pushing this time very hard. Does a lot of damage onto Pablito. Not sure how much damage he did onto Do. Actually, none. So it is advantage for Bangbus here in round 10. Dukes again going to push it. Bimbo also gets Mark. As map wide open, but the scope's still alive. By the way, he's starting to play a little bit of an off angle as well. Taz is still watching from up. Mark is all alone at two side. I think he's going to be coming under immense pressure just now. Duke's gone Taz as well. Mark now pushed. That's two. Oh no, and he's got the bomb. Mark's got the bomb. As you know, they're coming where they're coming from. Alright, switched over. Gets the kill on to do. Needs to get the ace here. Nimble King has moved in. Oh, I missed a shot onto Z for all. And Jin Zhao. Mart is now going to walk around. I think this is just a fake. Bimbo King is rotating. Bimbo King is rotating over to one side. I don't think... Does Mart realize this? If he realizes this, but he needs to get the ace here. He needs to get the ace there in order to win. They're both going via the garden. And Mart, I think, knows. I think Mart knows at this point. And Zao's not watching from up. He will catch Bimbo King at the perfect moment if he can get the shot here. Gets the bomb down. Four kills so far by Mart. He's making some sound. Jin Zao is going to get the bomb down. He will get the bomb down as a result. 1v1, Jin Zhao versus Mart. This is for the ace. This is for the ace. This is such a big round. Jin Zhao is in a pretty good angle. Mart is already clearing all the angles he possibly can clear. He spotted out oh, Jin Zhao! Through the walls, no ace for Mart. And he is going to put Bangbus on match point. One more round is what they need. E United needs three. Is coming down to the wire. Bangbus at a huge advantage. But that round could have been everything. So close for Mart. Almost too close to call. Very well played. But the last one, one mountain too big to climb. Look at that, Mart 17 and a half in eight. Top fragger of the server so far. Most damage dealt by Bimbo King, 15.4. And now Mart is going to push. He knows he's playing well and needs to hunt for it. One snipe playing an off angle though. Will Mart check this? Immediate headshot by one snipe. And that could be it. Those kind of kills are so, so big. More nades coming through. The Effendi now in the pressure. Needs to get kills here. Can't get a kill onto Bimbo. Gets the second on the Pedoes too. Taz fights back. But now Mark needs to hold off the fury of Bangbus. He knows they're in. He knows they are in. They spotted him. They spotted him. He needs to stay alive. He can't. Taz is in a 1v4. He's gone one. Smokes out. They can't buy no. Taz can. This is such a tough one. We've seen him do. Get close to an attempt before. So many smokes coming out. Jin Zhao, going to push in, gets Duke as well, just Pablito in sight, Taz, pistols out, no it's Pablito who wins it, it got so close, but Taz missing one shot there, and it is Bang Bus going to the grand finals, oh my days, really thought Taz was going to do it.